this last year, it's amazing how Jesus, he just comes as such a gentle shepherd in the midst of suffering in our lives because he knows suffering. He's experienced firsthand everything that you and I have ever gone through or ever will gone through and infinitely more. And, and you know, like he, he started to speak to me this last year when I was just at the worst, the worst lowest place. And he just began to say, Taylor, hope in God. And some of you need to hear that today. Hope in God. He just began to speak that to me. Hope in God. Put your hope in me, not in your circumstances or what the moment that you find yourself in. Put your hope in God. And so I began to just like ask Jesus. I was like, what is hope? Like, what does that even mean? I don't even know what that means. And the Holy Spirit spoke to me so clear with this definition. It came all in a moment and it changed my life. And he said this, hope is the expectation of the coming goodness of God in the midst of the pressure. That's what hope is. It's Psalm 27. It's your circumstances are rough right now, right? It kind of sucks. You've got an army around you. It's expectation of the coming goodness of God in the midst of the pressure, in the midst of the pain, in the midst of the loss, of the relational difficulty of whatever it is. It's in the midst of all of that, putting your expectation in the fact that God is good, His goodness is still tangible and real in your life, and there will come a day when you will see with your eyes the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. And so Jesus was speaking to me, and He said, Taylor, I want you to fully give yourself to my goodness and rejoice in the day of your healing right now. Now, when I was in the middle of it, when it was looking really bad, I want you to hope and believe for that day right now and rejoice as if it's there because it's really coming and you have a suddenly coming, right? That's what God was speaking to me. And sure enough, man, my suddenly came and in a moment, Jesus healed me and I'm like, oh, you're free from this thing, man. And that's the point that God moves like this. All of the sudden, Jesus just shows up. He enters the room, he enters your life and everything changes. And so for those of you that are in that moment where the army is camped around you, God wants to put steel in your spirit fine today and he's speaking over you and he's saying hope in God you will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living it's coming for you stand with David man give yourself to the promise of what God has spoken over your life this is why you can get out of bed in the morning man your circumstances change your life change changes right God never changes and he is always faithful.